In today's video, I am going to be breaking down in Cade Cunningham and how he is so great and what will make him great and amazing in the NBA. Let's get down, let's check out Cade Cunningham. So something that I really do like with Cade Cunningham is his ability to get that switch off of the screen and then pulling up off the dribble for the three-point shot. He's also able to use the screen but not use it at the same time. Basically, being able to brush off that screen and then pull up for a jumper, he is a very good player. He can shoot from anywhere on the court. As we see here, he can actually even body players into the low post and he can go up and get that basket. Meanwhile, other times when he's being guarded really tightly, he is able to use fakes to be able to create space between himself and his defender. We can even see this here by using a quick jab off the dribble to pull back for a shot. And we can see this a few times with step backs as well. I also see that with Cade Cunningham, his ability to see the floor, see players who are cutting on the weak side for alley-oop dunks, this is really going to benefit him in the NBA, especially when he starts getting double teamed in the low post or even on the perimeter he's able to get teammates easy baskets anywhere on the court now there's more and more teams who are going up against zone defenses and here we can see that he is used to playing against that zone defense getting that ball into the key getting that double team passing it off to his teammate who is on the block for easy dunks in this case we can even see him attacking the basket collapsing the defense kicking it out for a three-point shot for his teammates he is a very high level player and of course we can really learn a lot from him. I personally feel that Cade Cunningham's ability to pass, like we see here, bringing in double teams, passing around with one hand to his teammate who is cutting towards the rim, that's really going to benefit him in the NBA. Also, his ability to be patient, going up for fakes, using his footwork, stepping through for a shot, that's really going to benefit him in the long run in the NBA. For his ability to be still athletic, but very good with his footwork, to be able to hit shots like this, he is going to be extremely effective when shooting. We can see that he has a small base, but he's able to get this shot off quickly because he starts extending his elbow before getting up to his set point. His set point is really low. However, he starts extending his elbow when he's going up for his jump. He doesn't start extending when he's at the top of his jump, which will benefit him in the NBA as well. Oh yeah, by the way, did I mention that he's a very good defensive player? He understands where the offensive player is about to go. He's able to really contest here we can actually see something that is very special so something as a defensive player what you can do is if you were to jump straight up into the air remember you are owner of the land you are under basically there's things called cylinders and you're going to hear more and more of this probably next year in the nba if you watch their games and if you can jump up and down within your cylinder then you will not be called for a foul now if you reach outside of your cylinder then you will be called for a foul. Now here, he does reach outside of his cylinder. At first, he was still inside of his cylinder because his hand was right there. However, when he does reach out, he's able to get on top of that ball because he is jumping straight up. If he was jumping forwards into that offensive player, that would have been called a foul. Even though there is body contact, he was still inside of his cylinder, which then allowed him to block that shot without getting that foul called. So if you're a very good defensive player or if you're a player who looks to become better at defense, you have to remember that there is your cylinder that you are owner ownership of by standing in it, jumping in that cylinder, whatever it may be. And by jumping straight up, which is a basically what I'm talking about is in your cylinder, you can get more height on your jump. You then don't jump forward to create that foul. And by having your arms straight up, as we see right here, and then by the time that you're coming back down, your player is already going to be heading back down, which then allows you to block their shot without getting that foul call. Now this is actually a very cool little graphic that I think it was ESPN or CBS or somebody who put together, but we have Cade Cunningham going straight up within his cylinder. He's able to get that block, and he's able to get that block 
Now, when he does get that block, he stays with the ball. Notice how he's staying with it because he doesn't want to let that ball go out of bounds. By having that ball go out of bounds, the other team gets that ball back. He's hungry for that ball. He continues to go over to get that ball, and then he looks down court. Now, if he's looking down court to save it in his own end, that's okay. If you're about to save it in your own end, you never want to throw it obviously without looking because you could get it intercepted and have a nice easy layup for the other team. However, if you can look down court, if you don't see anybody open, just land with the ball because you were going to have that go out on you anyways. However, if you can look down court and you can see, hey, there's somebody down court I can pass to, and that's what we see here. He's able to pass straight to one of his teammates who's able to get it down court, and of course, they can finish with the layup. So if you can play smart with good footwork, you can definitely go extremely far in basketball. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player, not just on the offensive side of the game, but also on the defensive side. If it has, hit that button or subscribe button, and of course, I'll see you guys in my next video.